Transhumanism is the technological project to overcome human psychological and physical limitations. In other words, this is a, a project to abolish or transcend human nature, to change human nature. Transcendentalism, the more familiar to you, that is a religious or other worldview which includes knowledge from supernatural or non-scientific sources. A modern religion, a religion that is actually compatible with the modern world in the United States, North America, Western Europe, Northeast Asia and so on, a modern religion will use scientific knowledge to shape human nature, but the object will be to, for humans to remain human as it is defined by this transcendental knowledge. So that's the transcendentalism, transhumanism dichotomy briefly outlined. Now I'll go into a little bit more detail. Transhumanism is this project for overcoming human biological limitations. And uh, aspects of transhumanism include uh, the effects on uh, changes to reproduction, such as gene therapy of disease and disability. It's fairly mainstream nowadays. Uh, aging and mortality, the objective of delaying human aging or actually abolishing mortality. And various enhancement technologies, and other aspects, the enhancement of intelligence, the enha enhancement of physical <coughs> prowess, for example, currently by using drugs and aspirationally, as a future hope, uh, by using genetic engineering. So this is the transhumanist perspective. Now, transhumanism aims to enhance human flourishing. That's the definition, human flourishing, which is an old um, classical Greek way of putting it. But the aim is to enhance flourishing even if it's not human. Essentially, transhumanism has a hedonistic imperative. Its imperative is to do with uh, enhancing pleasure and diminishing pain. It's not aimed to preserve human nature because transhumanists regard human nature as intrinsically flawed, seriously flawed, and something that should be transcended rather than accepted. So the aim is to abolish suffering, enhance fulfillment, and in order to do that, human nature will be changed. Transcendentalism is a, is a religious or other worldview referring to these transcendental values outside of science and probably supernatural. The, the basis of, hu of, of human nature, from a transcendental point of view, is what, what is human meaning and purpose, the meaning and purpose of human life. That becomes the, the centre of a transcendental approach. Human nature should not be changed, according to this idea, when change conflicts with the transcendental understanding of what human nature and purpose should be. Human nature and purpose is held constant, and other things should not affect that. Now, the tr traditional religions don't accept modern human society. They don't accept scientific knowledge of human nature. They don't engage in strategic social planning, and at a very basic level, traditional religions don't use contraception and uh, would be hostile to psychoactive drugs. But there are some modern religions which do embrace modern society, although they uh, retain the supernatural orientation of, of religion. They embrace modern society, they incorporate the scientific knowledge of human nature, they use contraception and they use psychoactive drugs. And they may use transhumanist type of technologies as well, but they would only use them insofar as they contributed to uh, enhancing human meaning and purpose as it was defined transcendentally. The ex best example of this, the uh, most successful example, is Mormonism, uh, and as it's practiced in the United States, the Mormons, the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is the official name. Also, to some extent, in the United States, the evangelical Christians are uh, somewhat like Mormons, but perhaps less uh, rigorously so. Mormonism is very well adapted to modern life. Mormons are much more successful than the average American. Uh, they're particularly successful in business, law, and politics. You've probably heard of Mitt Romney, who very nearly became the Republican presidential candidate. You probably haven't heard of Harry Reid, who is the head of the US Senate and is a Mormon, one of the three key positions in American political life. You may not realize that Harvard Business School, the premier business school in the world, is run by Mormons. 
They are wealthier and more intelligent than average Americans, and Mormonism is growing very fast. It started in 1830, and there are now about 8 million Mormons in the United States and 13 million worldwide. Mormons use contraception, but they choose to have more children than the replacement level, and the wealthiest Mormons have the most children. It is unique, as far as I know, in the whole of human history that uh, in, a, in a society which uses contraception, the wealthiest people have the most children. So, that is an example of the kind of transcendental religion which I think provides a coherent uh, option. In conclusion, I think there are only two possible futures in our attitude to human nature. We either have to choose between transhumanism or transcendental perspective. Transhumanism is essentially an individualistic perspective about minimizing pain and maximizing pleasure for the individual organism, the individual human being. and uh, Human nature is something that is to be changed and will change so that the human organism won't stay the same. You will end with a transhuman organism. Or the uh, transcendental position is a more communitarian, group orientated uh, approach and it's, it's concerned with the destiny of humankind, the meaning of life, and the purpose of life. I think both of these views incorporate a scientific view of human nature. But transcendental views subordinate science to the supernaturally defined context, whereas transhumanism puts science to work in a hedonistic imperative of increasing pleasure and reducing pain for as many individuals as possible.